you were okay, That's what you should be. Don't nobody, no, nobody, no, no man want to be around that. I mean, the number one thing men want from a woman is what? They butt kiss. I want you guys to understand what she just said. There, she thinks a man wants they butt kissed. Oh, wait, you're that's what she though. thinks of you. Like that's what she thinks of you, gentlemen. How you doing, sir? I'm well. Good. Judah, you next. Uh, how old are you? Twenty eight. Uh, okay. What do you got for me? Um, just generally, when it comes to relationships and dating, partnership in someone who is able to start off as a friend when it comes to getting to know one another is something that I'm seeking first because I'm more so interested in um, the business aspect of my life right now. So um, you're, inter you're interested in the business aspect of your of your of your life. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. What does that mean, though? Um, just because that means that. I'm focused on evolving what I'm doing with my businesses, with okay. my brand, with my, my day to day. Okay. Um, do you have any children? No. Um, do you want to be married? I've been married and I would like to be married again. Okay. We're not your friend. Okay. I mean, that's just not our job. Okay. When you have children, are you there? Are you going to be their friend? Are you going to be their mother? I'm going to be both. No. See, that's that new age bullshit. Mm. Be their mother. Their friends are their friends. Right. Why do you want to be both? To support. Yeah, he's right. It, that is that new age stuff. These women wanting to be, and I, you don't see, I wouldn't say you see it so much with the dudes, the fathers and the sons being friends, but the women wanting to hang out with the daughters and, you know, basically try to act their age, especially the ones who have them younger and try to go on trips with them and, you know, hot girl summer stuff, trying to dress the same, trying to look like the daughters, emulating all this stuff. But after a while, early on, sometimes the daughters end up disrespecting the mothers because they're trying to be their friends, obviously. And it doesn't really work out in the end a lot of times. Everything that they want to do with their lives. You're not supposed to support everything. You're supposed to guide them. Right. That's going to come with being a mother. Right. Not a friend. I can balance both. No, you can't. Okay. Was your father in your life? Yes. Your mother and father married? Yes. Was your father your friend? Yes. All right. Let's go down that path then. What age did you lose your virginity? 18. Did you tell your daddy? Yes. Did you tell him before you did or after? I mean, not after. I mean, did, you tell, did you tell him the night you did? I wasn't around him. He kicked me out when I was 17, so. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like a friend. Mm. It is a friend, though. No, it's not. Well, I learned from that, though. You can learn from getting bit by a snake that don't make it your friend. See, words mean things, and that's why I'm trying, that's why I'm being direct. You think you know something that you don't know. And I'm trying to tell you, you're, you're misperceiving things. Okay. I'm listening. I want your to father's not your friend. Your father's your father. Your mother's your mother. Your friends are your friends. Mm. Trust me. My grandmother was not my mother's friend. She was her mother. And my mother honors her mother today as her mother, not her friend. We don't need our parents to be our friends. We need them to be our parents. Mm. We need our friends to be our friends. You don't need me sitting down talking to your dad you can have a cordial relationship, an open relationship. I'd have one with my child, but I'm not her friend. Okay. I can see how that word can be very mis... Yeah, and that's why I said we need to take it out because your husband is your husband. Cause what about the word partner? He's not your partner. You're his wife. Okay. Where's partner? Okay. Partner's in a business. 
who leads in the marriage? I would give that to my husband. You wouldn't give it. That's what it should be. In the in the in the United States, are the president and the vice president partners? I may have misunderstood that. I thought they were, but no, I would like they're, to not. Why they're not. No, they're not. They're not. What does the vice president do? Nothing. He's the president of the Senate. The vice president does literally nothing unless the president dies. Okay. Nothing. See, we have, we have deified the word partner and we have deified the word friend, but when we do that, we minimize the word husband. Husband is a title that should be imbued with respect, honor, admiration, dignity. But when you mix it with friend and partner, you have a business partner, right? Uh-huh. You have a business husband? No. Uh, that makes sense. Thank you. Now the business I shouldn't be seeking um, partnership be, within a marriage at all. You should be seeking leadership. You should be seeking cooperation, but not partnership. You're not seeking partnership with your children, are you? No, I'm gonna, I want to set them up for success, but I wouldn't have... But that's not partnership, them. that's leadership. See, your husband is supposed to do what he's supposed to do, and that, that sometimes you may not like him for doing that. But it still needs to be done. I don't mean that you can't be affable and communicative with your, with your man, but that's not a friend. We're not your friends. We don't. We're not you. That's the problem. Y'all think we're you, and we're not you. So we can't have conversations about business together. That's what because I'm. I, I wanted so basically make me understand why it's wrong that I wanted someone to partner with in business. What kind of business are you talking about? What kind of what kind of what kind of business are you talking about? What kind of oh, hold on? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. What kind of business are we? I I talked about this a while ago, and I I think. You know, I disagree. I get what he's saying, but I disagree with it, you know. And I get the whole, you can't be a business husband. You know, you have to be a husband. You lead. Um, I talked about, you know, the levels of partnership. Not all partners are in the front. Some partners are in the background. There are marriages. There are relationships where couples... Are running a business together the husband is still there it's not that it can't happen you know and I've, I've said this on a previous video and I have people in the comments blah, 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 blah. and same thing with friends I get with kids and all this other stuff but you are to provide leadership you can provide leadership to your friends as well direction guidance you can do that with your friends as well Somebody you confide in. You're not going to confide in someone that you feel is your subordinate. I wouldn't look at my wife as my subordinate. And you guys can go ahead and talk all the shit you want on this video about it. But it's not going to be that way. You know, I am the head of the household, but she's not going to be the subordinate. She's not. She's That's not what she is. Talking about. I write, so writing, music, um, the arts, publishing. Okay, what kind of business? You write songs for who? Right now, I'm just establishing, but I'm I'm an artist myself, so I write music right now, and I write books, and I write stories for um, so, different people. So what I need to understand is how can somebody help you write a song or a book? <laughs> it's complicated. I'm thinking of it on a more interpersonal level. No, so. you're thinking of it on a, on, a, on a creative girl hippie level, and that's not what it is. That's why, artists, creative that's why creatives level. are most difficult people to marry, because you guys are overly in your feelings and not in the practical. Mm. So I need to separate that entirely then. Yes. Okay. Because what's your, what is your responsibility? Okay, your business, your job, your this, your that. Uh, you're his wife. What comes first, your business or his or him? My marriage. Okay. Easier said than done. 
Well, that's part of the issue. You, you let in saying, I want somebody to be a partner and I'm focusing on my business and this and that. Well, uh, I was holding up as much as I could, but... You were doing what? I guess I need to learn. I need to learn more of the roles of both husband and wife. Your mother and father are married, experience. right? Yes, but that's... I learned but so much from them. There's Why? a certain amount that I learned and then... Well, you're in your masculine. Like I'll tell you. I'll tell you that you're in your masculine energy. Like I'll tell you that for sure. Right. I can. I can actually agree with you. I understand. So that about I mean, so you need to understand what an essence of wife is. What is essence? What is a wife's role? Um, the nurturer. Nope. It's a mother's role. A wife role. The supporter. He's a helpmate. Helpmate. Help me. Uh, yes. Okay. And you want somebody to partner and help you. You want a wife. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Get a liquor so, license. You go a bartender? I mean, you go get a platonic relationship? I was a bartender I before. I don't think you know what I'm talking about. That went completely over her head just now. <laughs> Oh man, she's so she's so stone and stoic and like straight like robotic almost. Like if you you hear her talk, da 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 da. Imagine being in bed with a woman like this. It's not it's not sexy. I'm talking bartender is a creative way of me saying something else over here. Still don't but I have been trying to do more of the feminine yeah. role, so I've I've allowed myself to date older men and let them take me out and show me different um, than what I've been experiencing. So I understand. Man can't show you how to be feminine. I mean, they let me be. That's what I mean by that. Because dating men who don't stand no. in their masculine role makes it hard no. for women well, to be no, feminine too. No, 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 absolutely not. More. Modern psycho babble bullshit. Uh huh. Why? Feminine is what you are. You don't turn it on or off. And it's like you know. Well, you know. I wish. But you said I was masculine. You're masculine because you're masculine. Right. Just because you have a man that's can to put you in your place doesn't make you feminine. You just know you're you need, you need to shut up. But you're still masculine when you're quiet listening to an older man. You're still masculine. Right. So women have to shut up to men. No, you have to shut up. Because oh, you yeah. are masculine. I'm talking to this woman. You're in your masculine. And this is why you need to be around women. But you probably repulse women because you're overly masculine. Mm. I can believe so that. you're a woman without a country. You can't talk to... You say you're... I'm trying to get you to understand what your mother and father did. But you say your daddy kicked you out. So you seem as someone who's strong-willed, stubborn, and has a, and, and a single-minded. That's what I'm getting from you. Hmm. And don't nobody want to be around that. Yeah, Not I am a woman. Time, so you were well, that's where you should be. Don't nobody, don't nobody, don't no man want to be around that. Men, the number one thing men want from a woman is what? They butt kiss. I want you to guys to understand what she just said. There, she thinks a man wants they butt kissed. Yo, yo, yo. How many times do women say that? And you can tell that she wants she been that's been on her mind. Like, yo, I what about me? Like, I if I have to do all of this, if this is what it takes in it, and that's probably why your marriage got kicked, you know, didn't didn't dissolve and you got kicked out and things don't work because you're just like, I'm not even going to compromise. This is what it is. You know, I'm the dude. This is what's happening. You're going to have this food cooked by the time I get home. Yo, they need a butt kissed. Right. That's what I she mean, that's thinks. The way you're that's what she though. thinks of you, like that's what she thinks of you, gentlemen. You're not really explaining anything to my question. I'm asking you a question and I just get I'm just repeating your answer. I said, what's the number one thing that men want from a man wants from a woman? You said they butt kiss. There's nothing to explain. That is a negative connotation. I don't there's no it's way to make that positive. That I'm masculine? I ma'am. You've said what you you said who you are. 
and I'm just repeating it so you'll hear it. Don't get defensive because you said something that's revealing who you are. They butt kissed. How is that positive? Because you said you don't. I, I'm not supposed to. How is them. that I'm positive? Not supposed to support them. I can't partner with them. I can't be their kissing friend. somebody's butt. I need to be there. Help me. Excuse me. Kissing somebody's butt is positive. I mean, it is if you're being their help me. So, them if the you have employees and if you have employees at your business, and they're doing their job, they're kissing your butt. No, because they're going to get. Thank paid. you. I'm not going to just have them working for me. Thank you. Time. Don't don't try to get smart. Think about what you're saying. It's what you're saying is now. Here comes the defensiveness. Right. Here comes the wall. Instead of really listening, here comes the justification, guys. I'm letting you know what you're about to do. Okay. Put your dick up and listen. Coming in saying men want their butt kissed is a negative connotation towards men. I can agree it is. Then why say that unless you think of men in a negative light? Um, that's just how I perceived um, the thought process of what you're saying. I'm trying to process and understand what you're saying. No, I'm ma'am. Well, I'm asking you what you... No, no. I'm asking you. I, no, no. Don't put... You can't make that... I, I won't own that. Their butt kiss. I said, what is the number one thing men want from women? And you basically let the everyone know how you think of men. Are men Okay, positive? so I'm going to take my answer back then. They want love. No. And affection. No. They don't want love and affection either? That's not the and number I one thing we want. don't know what men want. No, she is robotic as hell. You was married, Ed, are you dating? Like, who's smashing? Who is smashing? Yo, you don't like... Bruh, it's it's she's saying things and it's just like this is not something this is way too much this she's like she's like this is way too much they, they want this this and this and no no you don't want to be married you don't want to be married because they want cooperation okay cooperation that makes sense let's take that down and when you say having your butt kissed, meaning somebody cooperating is somebody in a negative and a not positive role. That is a horrible way to look at a quote unquote friendship, quote unquote partnership or a marriage. Is cooperation mutual, right? Or is that just the woman has to be submissive to him wanting her to cooperate? You don't have to do anything at all, ma'am. You can stay alone. Oh, okay. So that's what that means. So all no, that's not what it means. But I'm yeah. She got one of those mouths sort of. I get, I get you. I got you. I got. There's nothing wrong with the conversation, but yeah, yo, you sound like a dude. What I'm saying is, so all with you, like with, ma'am, what you need to understand is, have you had therapy? I have. I'm still going through therapy. Okay, you stay. You need to stay in because to you, every every answer with you is it. Everything you're saying is a zero sum game with hostility behind it, Damn. and there's no need for it. So how do you feel about when you had got and it's a per it's a personal challenge too. At divorce, like how did you well, it's not about this isn't about this is not about me. What happened with the cooperation? Like how this is how not a, this is not about this is not about me. See now you're not gonna change. This is not about me. This is about you. I can cooperate. How can I cooperate then? Well, you can't cooperate with anybody. You can't cooperate with anybody because you're not with anybody right now. You see how he got the arrow? He got the arrow and the mute button right there. <laughs> he ready to go. He ready to go. He ready to go. Yeah, true. So why are you asking me this? It's just another because way to try to read. You're just trying to redirect around me, and you need to learn how to be quiet. I told you guys what was about to happen. There you go, the modern woman, folks. Me, me. <laughs> Bonded and enabled, and then got mad because she was showing who she was. Now, imagine being on a date with her. Imagine being out with her. 
And you're just talking to her, and, and she can't... Wasn't I just saying that? Ima nah, forget all that. Imagine being in bed with her. No, no, no. Are you done yet? Hurry up and get up. I don't like it. To the right, to the left. <laughs> nah. Check her attitude enough. She can't verbally jab with you, judo with you, so eventually she's going to become a bitch. That was a bitch. Gonna be a bitch about it. See, if a man did that, if a man were to act like that with another man, there would be no words. A man would have to go out inside and shoot the fair one. We can, we don't do that with each other. We have to comport ourselves a certain way because with men, we bump up against a violence line, an aggression line. With women today, in general, black women in particular, they are good to overstep the violence line. Habitual line steppers. Habitual, habitual line steppers and keep inching 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 and i told her you're getting closer and closer and closer instead of woosahing and calming down this creative person who wants the zen bonds and everything else no she needs to put the bull ring on maximum <laughs> what about you and divorce trust me i'm doing okay <laughs> you don't want this massively alone yeah look at the comment section having a good time uh-huh that's you, ma'am. That's you. Like I said, the stories this woman has told herself is what I'm talking about. This woman, like most of us, like most people in traumas, are there's a fear. Fear. And instead of just saying, I'm scared, I'm afraid, I don't know, I'm, I'm vulnerable, it makes me feel uncomfortable to be this open and exposed. And I got to, so I got to have a bonnet and a bull ring on it, and I'll lean into it and talk like that so I can keep you away. I'm not impressed. And so you can't do me that way. You can do other guys that way. You can't do, that me, do me that way. I see you. I see. Stay in the therapy, like I said, because whatever fear is motivating you, it's animating you when you're out in public. So if this is what happens on a phone call or a Zoom call, can you imagine what happens when her heart or her emotions are engaged? Can you imagine when she's really open and exposed? That's what I'm saying, guys. I, I understand and empathize with a lot of women because they've been given the wrong information for so long to where it's... It's, it's really unfair in their minds that they have to go through this public pain. Right. And, and you or I can't take it away. We didn't make it this way. You blame your mom and them. This is what your mom and them asked for. 